Hi, and welcome to Plaid Crafts Video Studio. I'm Chris Williams, and here today we are in, going to have another episode of our week-long series of 2022 new product reviews. And I am here with Emma Panuski. Hi, Emma. Hey, Chris. Emma, thank you for joining me today. She's going to help me co-host this episode. This afternoon, we have so many things to share with you, and it's all about folk art and the folk art family of paints. I know that I use folk art a lot. I'm sure, Emma, you do too as well. I don't know that I have a favorite, so we're going to have to share many different formulas with you this afternoon. We have some new colors and new line extensions, and I'm so excited to share with you. Emma is going to help demonstrate some of these products along. And while we're here together today, first of all, I'd love to say welcome once more again. Be sure to leave us a comment, ask us questions. We're here to help you learn and discover more about these new products. And I also invite you to follow along and by visit plaidonline.com forward slash new. That's the site or the landing page where you will be able to learn everything there is to know about all of our new products that we've been showcasing this year and all along this week. So, Emma, I think I'd love to get started by sharing with everyone some of the line extensions that we have with the Folk Art Enamels paint. Folk Art Enamels is not a new line of paints. It is actually a paint. It's a staple in the Folk Art line that's been with us for years. Many of you may already be familiar with Folk Art Enamels. Folk Art Enamels are um, actually a water-based, non-toxic paint that's perfect for painting on glazed ceramics and glassware. And once baked, it is top shelf dishwasher safe. So it's just a really wonderful, wonderful paint that's been around for many, many years. Many of you may have already used it. It's so fun to work with, but we've got some great new colors um, this year. We're adding a total of eight new colors to our line. And Emma, I'm going to turn it over to you to share with everyone a little bit more about Folk Art Enamels. How do we get started with that? All right, great. Thank you, Chris. So again, I want to give everyone a big warm welcome to day three of our 2022 Plaid New Product Showcase. And like Chris said, we are kicking off this afternoon by talking about Folk Art Enamels, which is a really, really versatile paint. Chris talked a little bit about the benefits of using folk art enamels as opposed to some of our more traditional folk art formulas. One of the greatest uh, things about folk art enamels is that, like Chris said, once it is cured, it is top rack dishwasher safe, which is very, very exciting. And also, like Chris mentioned, um, these are just brand new colors to our Folk Art Enamels line. So we already have a broad array of colors for you to choose from for all of your different enamel projects and all of the projects that you want to make dishwasher safe. Um, you can do a lot of beautiful hand painted glassware and uh, ceramic ware and then it's a great gift to give to somebody to paint a handmade mug or bowl or serving dish and then um, to give it to a loved one. So I love that idea. Um, it's a really great way to personalize your, um, your kitchen space and all of the things in your home. So as you can see here, um, we have the brand new colors of our Full Guard Enamels paints. So I'm gonna go down the list and share with you all the brand new colors that we have launched in 2022. So starting off, we have um, Camellia Rose, which is this really, really beautiful soft pink color. This might be my favorite new I color. I think it's mine Chris. too, Emma. It's great for floral painting. Absolutely. It's that really beautiful, um, soft kind of candy pink. Reminds me of bubblegum. Yes, yes, it's beautiful. And you know, that color is great for springtime, through the summer, fall, winter. It's a good year-round pink. Absolutely, I totally agree. Okay, so next we have classic mint green, which is this really beautiful um, soft green color. Like Chris said, that one's great for florals too. Um, I feel like all of these colors are really floral inspired. They are really great for painting florals and any type of like landscape or nature scenes that you would want to paint on your um, enamel projects. Emma, I'm going to share with you and interrupt you just a moment sure. to let you know that Paula said she's already ordered all of the new oh colors. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you do Paula be sure and paint and take pictures and post what you do absolutely I can't wait either um, okay so continuing on we have violet rose which is this really really beautiful um, purpley pink rosy color just like its name 
Um, next we have Lime Punch, which is this really vibrant lime green color. I love this one too. Um, and then we have Pearl White, which is a really beautiful off-white color, adding some variety to the enamels line. Just a really great staple to have in your crafting space. Next, we have Summer Green, which is another beautiful green color. You get three new green colors, which is very exciting. So you can um, offer a lot of variety in your projects. And especially when you are floral painting, no two leaves are ever the same shade of green. So that's great that there's a variety of greens now available. Absolutely, Chris. That is a great point. Um, next, we have Aqua Splash, which is this really, really beautiful, almost robin's egg blue color. I love this one. It's so soft and delicate looking, um, and it would work really well. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like a kind of like a folk art uh, decor kind of theme, like a chinoiserie kind of uh, color. That would look beautiful with some other dark blues and some whites. And then lastly, we have Vibrant Orange to round out our new colors of folk art enamels. So we have eight brand new colors to share with you all. And while we're talking about our brand new colors for folk art enamels, let's go ahead and share some of the benefits of folk art enamels and how to work with them for the people that have never heard of them before. That's a great idea, Emma. Yeah, so just like um, if you were to paint with our multi-surface paint, um, on a slick surface like glass or ceramic, then you definitely want to know how to prep your surface so that you will be set for success. So we always like to prep our surface, whether it be glass or ceramic, by washing it really well so that you don't have any oils or dirt on your surface that can mess up that um, attachment of the paint to your surface. So whether it be using some warm soapy water to clean off your surface before you start painting, or I personally like to use some rubbing alcohol. So whenever I'm crafting, I like to have just a regular spray bottle of rubbing alcohol so that it's really easily accessible and I always have it for when I wanna paint on glass or ceramic or metal or really any type of slick surface. So all I like to do is take my spray bottle of rubbing alcohol, just give it a little spritz whoop, onto my surface and then just make sure that I get all of the spaces that, oh my goodness, that I plan on covering with paint. So once you wipe it down, you just wanna make sure that it's nice and dry, and then you're ready to paint. Sometimes people always ask me, Emma, why the rubbing alcohol? And I always like to share with them that, yes, like Emma said, you can use warm soapy water but sometimes you might leave a soap residue or you totally. might still have a little bit of oils from your skin on your hand and handling that piece of glassware or that ceramic bowl like Emma's demonstrating with today. Sometimes you might still have a little residue on them. That rubbing alcohol will cut through any residue that might be left. You do want to make sure that your surface is properly clean so that you do get a good paint adhesion. Absolutely, Chris. That is a really great um, point to call out. All right, so that you guys can see our folk art enamels in action, I'm just gonna do some really quick swatches of our folk art enamel paint. Right here I have our Violet Rose and our Aqua Splash. I wanted to make sure that I got that color name right. Um, so now that our surface is nice and clean, you are ready to paint. So it's you know similar to painting on any other type of surface. If you've never painted on a slick surface before, you can use um, whatever variety of brushes that you're used to painting with. And of course, we love our folk art brushes. Um, right now, I'm just painting with a you know one and a half, or sorry, not one and a half, a half inch flat brush. And we're just gonna paint some strokes going to the top of this cute little bowl here. So one of the great things about our Folk Art Enamel paint is that it goes on and it has a really, really opaque finish. The paint just seems to kind of glide over that slick surface. Absolutely. If you are a Folk Art fan and you've never used Folk Art Enamels before, it is just as rich and creamy as um, whatever Folk Art that you are used to painting with. And as Emma is painting along, let me share with everyone, because many folks are still joining us. This is Emma Panuski, uh, a member of our content studio here at Platt, and I'm Chris Williams, and we are your co-hosts today for this episode of our 2022 Plaid showcase of all brand new products. And right now we are featuring the Folk Art Enamel line extension, eight new colors. 
And as you are tuning in and watching and joining us, please be sure to write a comment or ask a question because at the end of our episode today, a winner is going to be chosen and you're going to receive some of this brand new product that we are um, showing in today. Awesome. So this is already looking very cute. And I have to say, these brush strokes are very simple. Anyone can do them. But I think what's making it look so cute is that these colors are really beautiful. Um, we always get so excited. I know Chris does for sure whenever there is uh, a new color <laughs> added to an existing line because we have a lot more to work with. And yes. I know we are both really, really excited about these new enamel colors. So once it's finished, it looks a little something like this. This would be so cute um, for an ice cream dish or a cereal bowl, or really just to put a couple pieces of fruit in. Super simple to do. And then, like we talked about earlier, once this is cured, then it is safe to place in your the top rack of your dishwasher and you can wash it very easily and you don't have to worry about it. Um, Chris, we always like to say here at Plaid, if you hand make it, then you really should hand wash it. But you don't even have to worry about that with our Folk Art enamel paints. It's a one and done kind of deal. You don't have to think about it. That's right. I do have a question for you from Joe. Can you please share with us again the name of the aqua that you're working with, that brand new aqua? Yeah, absolutely. So what the aqua I just used is called Aqua Splash, that really beautiful light blue robin's egg kind of color. Really, really pretty. And you can see it here on our palette too. It's really a beautiful color. And Emma, do you have a preference as to the type of brush that you use when working with enamels? Um, That's that a good question from Brenda. That is a really great question. So because of the nature of painting on glass or ceramic or any type of slick surface, I like to work with a softer bristled brush. I just found that the paint goes on really smoothly. You're not left with any brush strokes, which you don't have to worry about as much with folk art paints. But um, I like to use a soft bristle brush. And also you can use a um, sponge brush and you can actually, or a spouncer or something like that to apply your paint to a slick surface. And that works really well too. And uh, Emma, if I can interrupt you, please go over the three new greens one more oh, time. Yeah. Kristen would to. like to see them a little bit closer up. Sure, so I'll go ahead and put them in the frame here so that you can get a really good look and compare them together. So starting on our left, we have classic mint green. And then in the center there, summer green. And then on the right, we have lime punch. Three new beautiful shades of green. Okay, so of course, like all of the products that we're going to be talking about this afternoon, you can find all of these brand new colors of Folk Art Enamel Paints on PlaidOnline.com. And if you are um, interested in our episode that we're doing today, then don't forget to check out our previous episodes um, where we shared some other really exciting new Plaid products earlier this week. And like Chris said in the beginning, you can find all of those by going to PlaidOnline.com slash new. And don't forget to tune in the rest of the week, too, because it doesn't end here. We have a <laughs> lot more products to share with you all. And Emma, we did have someone ask about the curing of the folk art enamels. Would you like to do that or would you like me to share how to do that? Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Okay. So once you have decorated your little bowl, like Emma just demonstrated, we're going to allow that paint to dry fully. And usually it's not, it's dry to the touch within a couple hours, but I always like to tell everyone to let it go overnight. So let it go to full 24 hours. 24 hours later, the best thing to do is to bake the painted piece in an oven. And what we like to tell everyone to do is not, do not preheat your oven. Just set your painted item in a cold oven. Set the temperature to 350 degrees, then set your timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, you can turn that oven off and then do not open the door. Keep your painted item in the oven. So in other words, your painted glassware or, or plates or whatever you've done needs to heat up with the oven and cool down with the oven. And if you're doing several pieces, the best thing to do is to wait and do it at night. Uh, after the kitchen's cleaned, after you've done uh, serving dinner for the family, and go ahead and put that piece in the cold oven, let it bake, and then leave it in there until the next morning because obviously your oven is going to continue cooling overnight. Once it is completely cool and the oven is cool, you can then remove that painted glassware and you can use it. We do suggest um, waiting 72 hours before you ever um, wash it 
But then once you wash it, as Emma and I have said, it is top shelf dish rock, uh, top rack, uh, top shelf dishwasher safe. But I always say, as an artist, if I've hand painted something, I'm going to hand wash it. So um, folk art enamels is a real staple in your painting arsenal of supplies. And these new colors are just going to be that much more fabulous once you add them to your palette. Absolutely, Chris. Um, that was a really great explanation. It's kind of like working with a kiln. If you're a potter or um, a ceramicist, is that a word, ceramicist? Did I, I just make that up? It sounds pretty good. I know <laughs> what you meant. <laughs> um, it's like working with a kiln. You want to do the same rules apply. So you don't want to place uh, glass or uh, you know sil uh, silk ceramic into a really hot area and then remove it so that it's surrounded by a lot of cool area because then you run into problems with your project cracking or breaking. Um, so yeah, totally. So Chris, we talked about our folk art enamels. Do you want to introduce our next uh, I, exciting specialty paint? I would paint? love to help you do that, yes. Um, another folk art staple in everyone's product line is folk art metallics. The metallics are so rich and regal and they have such a beautiful sheen to them. The folk art metallics is another line that's been out for several years. But guess what? Another eight new colors have been added this year. It's all available in a two ounce flip top bottle. It squeezes out from the top just like you already know. The colors are so rich and creamy in consistency. The hide is beautiful and you get those gorgeous jewel tones. There's eight new colors available and they work well on wood, on canvases, on paper mache, on note cards. Those of you that are card painters, you can stencil with this, you can paint with this, you can um, add little dots of color. There's so much you could do with folk art metallics. And especially think about the holidays and decorating for the seasons. That little bit of glam and glitz just adds that perfect touch for the holidays. So I'm gonna let Emma tell you and show you a little bit more about these eight new colors that we have available in Folk Art Metallics. Great, okay, so very exciting. I definitely like to add a little bit of glitz and glam to some of my crafting projects. As you can see to the left of me, um, or I guess to the right of you guys at home, I have the eight new colors of our Folk Art Metallics. So we have really beautiful blues and um, some more golds and champagne colors and then some more vibrant magentas and uh, mint greens as well. And you can see um, right next to those paints, we have some finished projects that really showcase um, some of those new colors in action. So you can create some really um, fun and vibrant metallic projects with these new colors. And actually, I have some swatches to share with you all so that you can really get the full scope of what these metallic paints are going to look like once they're painted out. So at the top here, I'll go ahead and showcase them all. So we have, this is our green silk. This really uh, beautiful soft green color. And then moving on, we have shimmering steel. So a nice light silver color. Emma, maybe if you could move your box a little bit closer to you. Yeah, of course. Here, I'll do this so that I can introduce each one individually. How's that? Yeah, oh, that's great. Okay, cool. So then we have our, um, I believe this is, this is radiant copper. You see that? Okay? I can hear all the oohs and ahs. <laughs> <laughs> I know everyone's doing that as they're watching along with us today. <laughs> totally. Okay, so this is Golden Touch. This um, is such a bright, vibrant gold color. It is really a very true gold. It reminds me of um, like gold coins or something. Um, okay, so that is our Golden Touch. Then we have Glam Gold, which is this um, sort of rustic looking gold. I love all of the different metallic notes in this one. You get some um, darker shades of gold and some brighter shades of gold all together in this paint. I think this one is so regal because it lends itself to kind of maybe more of a vintage gold. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so then we have our Midnight Blue, which I am very excited about, this gorgeous dark blue metallic color. 
um, which looks really bright on camera, and it's almost kind of a subtle, um, like Chris was saying, there's a lot of exciting new jewel tones that we're introducing with this line extension, um, but it's a really subtle, beautiful, dark blue metallic color. And then lastly, um, I feel like we always, we're starting and we're ending off on the pinks, Chris. Does that say something about us that maybe that's one of our I think favorite pink colors might be our yeah. favorite color of the year maybe <laughs> maybe um, then we have sparkling fuchsia which is this really beautiful um, gem like color that really really um, gorgeous pink and I think one key thing to think about when you are working with the folk art metallics is that it can be a fabulous paint to do decorative painting with, but not only that, it's a gorgeous background color mm -hmm. because you can have that subtle sheen difference of the metallics that have that little bit of a sheen to it. And then perhaps paint like maybe the folk art matte acrylics on top and you can have a different sheen story between your projects. So I think it's a great paint that's very versatile. I totally agree, Chris. I love that idea of adding some metallics to the backgrounds of your paintings. So overhead, you all can see. So at the top here, these are our eight new colors of folk art metallics. And then below them, we have all of our existing colors of metallics. So as you can see, there are a lot of colors to choose from. And we really rounded out the whole rainbow with our new um, additions to the folk art metallic line. Um, really, really gorgeous metallic shades. And one thing to remember too is metallics don't have to be special just for holiday decorating or holiday painting or gift giving. Metallics can be used year round. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. So um, just so you guys can see our metallic paint in action, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a couple of swatches of some okay. of our new metallic paints. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I'm gonna start out by painting a swatch of our Midnight Blue. Okay. And while you're getting that ready, I'm just going to share that someone, Paula, is asking were there seven or eight new colors. There's <laughs> actually eight. Eight new colors. Bronze metal, radiant copper, green silk, sparkling fuchsia, golden touch, glam gold, shimmering steel, and midnight blue. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you ended on our, on our midnight blue, Chris. Yeah, that was perfect, wasn't it? I know. Okay. <laughs> and while Emma's still getting ready there, let me be sure and share with you, as you are joining us, make a comment, ask us any questions you like. We're here to help you um, solve the mysteries of all of the new colors. And as you are commenting, know that you are being entered into a drawing that you, one lucky winner is going to receive all kinds of folk art new paints. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So you guys can see um, it goes on so beautifully. I mean, er earlier we were talking about the hide of the paint, Chris, and you yes. can really see. I mean, I did that just now. That's only one coat, and it just goes on beautifully. It has a gorgeous hide. Um, it, it just looks so nice and opaque. So, and again, that is our midnight blue. So that's our Midnight Blue. I won't swatch out all of them for you all, but I just wanted to show you guys that really gorgeous hide um, that you can achieve with our Folk Art Metallic paints. So that's our Midnight Blue. And then next, I'm gonna showcase our Shimmering Steel. Oh, blues and steels against the black. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous, mm -hmm. Emma. Now I want you all to watch as Emma is working and stroking that color out. Look how rich and creamy in consistency the Folk Art Metallic paints are. This type of paint works so well on so many different types of surfaces, like we said earlier, on wood, on metal, on paper mache, card making, a canvas artwork. It's just a beautiful paint that goes on a variety of hard surfaces. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Chris. Okay, so that's that look at that beautiful shimmer in both of those colors it looks so nice so with that chris that is our new folk art metallic colors do you want to go ahead and introduce our third specialty folk art paint that we're going to be talking about this afternoon it would be my honor to and everyone knows that the metallics that we use a lot here in the building are the new treasure gold metallics Treasure Gold is a product that, again, has been around for a couple years now. Treasure Gold is a multi-surface formula in the highest pigmentation of a metallic paint there is. 
Uh, many of the colors are available in a two ounce bottle, but many are also available in a four ounce bottle. And I have a couple four ounce ones here I'd love to share. We have a line extension to Treasure Gold. This two colors I'm holding right here are now available. One is Champagne. It's a beautiful um, silvery white type color. It's just like the name implies, Champagne. It's a beautiful color, available in a four ounce bottle. And the second one here is um, Majestic Gold, which everyone needs another gold. <laughs> gold, I think, is the one metallic color that everyone uses so much. So we needed another value of gold, and so Majestic Gold is another new line addition in the Treasure Gold uh, line of paints. And again, these are water-based, non-toxic, made right here in the United States, right here in Georgia. And these are made with the multi-surface formula. And when I say that, what I mean is it goes on wood, on tin, on glass, on terracotta, on glazed ceramics. Uh, you can use it on canvas. The multi-surface formula is just that. It goes on a multitude of surfaces. The, comparing that to the metallics that Emma just shared with us, uh, this is the multi-surface one, goes on a variety of things. In other words, like I said, you can even paint it on glass. Once it's baked and cured to the glass, it is then washable. The regular Folk Art acrylics, if I can compare the two for you here, the Folk Art metallics, this is not the multi-surface formula. The Treasure Gold metallic line is of the multi-surface formula. So not to confuse you, but to try and separate the two differences. But Emma's going to share with you a little bit about the two new colors of Treasure Gold. And Emma, I'm going to let you take it away. Awesome. Okay, so talking about Treasure Gold, uh, like Chris said, Treasure Gold is not a new product here at Plaid. We have been making it for a couple of years now. And when Treasure Gold came out, we were all a little starstruck just because of how metallic it really looks um, in your, all of your finished projects. It almost has a mirror-like quality to it, which is so exciting because a lot of the really mirror reflective type paints that you can find on the market are not non-toxic. So that is why Treasure Gold is so exciting to us. Like Chris said, it's water-based, it's non-toxic. You don't have to work in a well-ventilated area. You can work in a tiny craft room and not have to worry about fumes or anything like that because it is water-based and non-toxic. And you're still left with that really gorgeous, reflective, metallic sheen that we really want in all of our metallic paints. So it is just has a stunning, stunning sheen to it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of, or really, all of our uh, Treasure Gold colors. So like Chris said, of course, we have our standard golds and silvers and rose golds. Um, we have this, this is probably one of my favorite existing Treasure Gold colors. That's our Mayan gold. It's just a really light uh, gold color. And then we have antique copper, which is kind of a, like a rustic old penny. Um, type of color. And then we introduced a couple of years ago some of our treasure gold jewel tones. So we have beautiful greens and purples and aquas and blues here. And then the really exciting part that we are here to talk about today is our two new colors. So right here is our majestic gold, which um, Chris and I are very excited about because <laughs> you can never have too much gold. I was gold. just going to say that you can never have too many values of gold. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you want a more yellow gold and sometimes you want a more green gold um, and a project can really depend on what kind of gold you add to it. So I know I'm thankful that we have lots of treasure gold gold options to choose from now. So that is our new majestic gold and you can see just how beautiful and reflective that is there. And then here is our champagne, which, is, like Chris said, is that really beautiful, soft, almost borderline silver and gold color. It's like a perfect in-between, um, and you just get that really beautiful shimmer. And you can see, too, right next to Chris, she has some of our Treasure Gold projects, um, some candlesticks that we painted out, and you can just see how beautiful and reflective um, the Treasure Gold is and some finished projects over there. And like Emma said, the hide is beautiful. When you're working with metallic, sometimes the hide is more uh, like a transparent. There's a very little hide to a metallic paint. These are so heavily pigmented, so rich and creamy in consistency. They brush out so beautifully. 
Each and every single color in the Folk Art Treasure Gold line is fantastic. And m things like this can be all one color, like you see the candlestick. You can always find things like this either in craft stores ready to go or think about repurposing things that you might have in your home, giving some new love to an old piece that you might have. Treasure Gold can enhance and beautify just about any type of surface. As I said, it's in the multi-surface formula, so just look around the house and see what you think you might want to spruce <laughs> up. And this by itself is absolutely beautiful. But don't forget, Treasure Gold can also be incorporated in your artwork or used as a background. You can color block areas and then paint on top. Treasure Gold can be an accent. Uh, think about... Um, accenting the tips of flower petal leaves or uh, painting Christmas ornaments and maybe you're painting a nativity, that gold halo around uh, Mary or baby Jesus. Treasure gold is absolutely phenomenal for so many different designs, so many different types of surfaces, so many different things to paint. So uh, have fun with Treasure Gold. I know you will. Emma and I and all the members of the content studio here at Plaid can't put the bottles down because <laughs> we enjoy using it so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and Chris, I love that idea of refurbishing some of those, um, you know, pieces in your home that don't, uh, that aren't as beautiful as you wish they would be. Um, <laughs> a little time worn maybe. Yeah, a little time worn maybe. Um, I know I've been going to a lot of local thrift shops recently because I'm trying to decorate a brand new apartment. So I have been looking in the picture frame aisle and painting some really beautiful and inexpensive ornate picture frames with treasure gold. And I wish that I had brought them to show you all because they are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, and you can really, you know, do it for a dime. So. That's a great point to call out, Chris, is that the, these are great paints to refurbish and bring a new life to some of those pieces in your home. And Mary just said in the comments here that she's never been too crazy about metallics, but listening to the two of us, I think we <laughs> may have changed her mind. <laughs> well, good. I'm excited. And like we've been saying, if you're interested in any of these products, um, then make sure to go to platonline.com to find any of the products that we are talking about here today. Right. And if you want to see them up close or l read more about each of the products, visit platonline.com forward slash new. That's where you're going to see all of the new products uh, in today's episode as well as what we've done so far um, earlier throughout this week. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch out our majestic gold today. So you can see that beautiful hide that is um, a standard in all of our different treasure gold paints. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, and another great thing about treasure gold that makes it a little bit different than some of our other folk art metallic formulas is that treasure gold is indoor outdoor safe. So you can craft projects for um, all of your outdoor spaces as well and um, you don't have to worry about them getting damaged. That is so beautiful, Emma. Isn't that beautiful, Chris? Okay, so you can see just how quickly I am painting this on and it just is gorgeous and you don't really get the full effect until I uh, move it a little bit in the light, so let me do that. Think about New Year's Eve. Think about springtime mm -hmm. and the golden eggs that you can paint during Easter. Think about uh, graduations. Think about weddings. Mm -hmm. Think about so many different seasons that you could paint for. The metallics and the treasure gold work so beautifully throughout the whole year. Absolutely, Chris. So with that, that are our two new colors of treasure gold that we are released in 2022 this year um and do you want to go ahead and wrap it up chris so we can talk about our very last product of the I day i would love to it's my pleasure we have another line extension again another folk art paint formula that's been around for a couple years now some of you may already be familiar with it and it's called folk art color shift and the name itself kind of implies the meaning. We actually went out into the automobile industry to research this particular paint formula and the idea and the concept of this style of paint. Folk Art Color Shift is a paint that shifts in the color based on the lights and the shapes of the items that the paint is painted on. When you think about that car that flashes past you as it's driving by, it might look, uh, 
maybe like a black cherry one way and then once it flashes back you might see some metallic plums to it or a different color altogether. That's a color shifting paint and as the light hits the shapes of the car that color changes and shifts. Well Folk Art Color Shift does exactly just that and we have a line of Folk Art Color Shift paints already in existence but for this time around we are now introducing four more new colors and these are all I've got two of them here another here's a third one these are all pastels now and when you look at these uh, sometimes you might put it out and you might see the violet but then when you shift the color it's going to shift to a metallic or a holographic color it's absolutely beautiful so there are four pastel color shift new colors available in the line right now and again if you want to see them up closer visit plaidonline.com forward slash new and right now I'm going to turn it over to Emma and she's probably going to stroke out some new colors <laughs> for you I sure am so like Chris said we are really excited to introduce um, these brand new pastel colors in our folk art color shift line so um, you can see beneath me I have some swatches to show you if you've never heard of color shift before, just like Chris said, the colors change in the shifting light. It is a really, really beautiful paint and um, I feel like more so than some of our other folk art paints, the opportunities that you can paint with this paint are really endless and it is multi-surface too. So um, it doesn't just stop on porous surfaces. You can paint our color shift on a variety of different surfaces. This is one of our original formulas that we launched with the color shift line. This is our aqua, or I'm sorry, not aqua, our green flash. This is our aqua flash. Um, two really beautiful um, shifting colors. So as you can see in front of me, we have quite a few color shift colors to choose from, but these five at the top are our brand new pastel colors. So. This is our pastel pink, this really beautiful light pink color. Then we have our pastel yellow, that really beautiful kind of citrusy color. Then moving down, our pastel purple, our pastel blue, and then lastly, our pastel green. And I feel like these new color shift colors are kind of space age inspired. Um, the hologram trend is trending more so now than ever. So this is really great to um, paint some really trendy art pieces to decorate your home decor with or to give as a gift to a loved one. Okay, so as you can see right here, these are all of our new two ounce uh, colors of Color Shift. And then we're also excited to share with you all today that if you are already a fan of our Folk Art Color Shift, then we have these brand new colors, but we also have some brand new sizes for you all. So we have always had um, a variety of colors in our four ounce formula. But with these brand new colors, we are also introducing a four ounce option for pastel blue and pastel green. And just like our Treasure Gold, I love using these uh, bottles because they have a really wide mouth, which allows you to just go ahead and dip your paintbrush in there and then paint on straight away. You don't have to take out a plate or a palette to paint with. So um, I love that wide mouth. Um, so we are super excited about our four ounce new color shift colors. And then um, if you love Color Shift even more, we have some brand new 8 ounce sizes, which are in a squeeze bottle cap. And we have our blue flash, blue violet flash, purple flash, aqua flash, and black flash. So some of our really classic Color Shift colors are now available in our biggest size. They're available in that new 8 ounce size. So we are very excited about that. Um, they're a great staple to pick up to have in your crafting studio or your art space, wherever you like to create art um, in. So yeah, those are our 8 ounce formulas. That black in the 8 ounce is perfect when you think about decorating for upcoming holidays. Absolutely. It's great for uh, the winter holidays as well as maybe Valentine's or even Halloween. It's a great staple. Absolutely. And look how beautiful that is shifting in the light. 
so, so pretty. Okay, so to wrap up our segment for the day, I am going to go ahead and paint out some of our new pastel color shift colors. And while I'm doing that, I wanted to share with you all, you might have seen to the side of me here, we also have this really great paint set. So if you're new to color shift or you are a big color shift fan or you just wanna try it out, we have this set of four that um, you know come in two ounce bottles of our pastel yellow, purple, pink, and green. So a great little set to pick up. Of course, you can find it on platonline.com um, to get you excited about our color shift pastels. Okay, so what should I swatch out, Chris? Should I do, should we stick with our, our pink? That seems to be the theme <laughs> of the day. Maybe I'll go for our pastel green. Oh, maybe a little of both. Maybe okay. a little pink and a little green. All right, don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> And while Emma's doing that, remember the Folk Art Color Shift formula is a multi-surface formula. So again, that means this paint can be used on a wood surface, on a canvas, on paper mache, on metalware, on glassware. Think about wine stems and get your girlfriends together and all sit around the uh, kitchen table and have fun painting stripes and polka dots on your wine stems and have a girlfriend night out. It would be so much fun to get together with a group of friends and just have a great time painting. Absolutely, Chris. I love that idea. Um, and another great thing about our color shift formula is that it's also indoor outdoor safe. So you can craft your projects and then place them outside and not have to worry about them being um, damaged in the outdoor weather. So you guys can see, I mean, I just painted that swatch. There's only one coat so far. Just I just uh, brushed, used my brush in one stroke and you can already see that it's already shifting in the light. So I'll go ahead and paint out a little bit more. And Emma, while you're doing that, Martha's asking, can it be baked on glass? Yes, Martha. And the baking instructions are exactly the same as we talked about earlier when working with the folk art enamels. If you missed it, you're just gonna have paint your glazed ceramics or your glassware, your wine stem perhaps, like I just used as an example. Let it dry 24 hours, then place it in a cold oven. Set that oven temp to 350 degrees and close the oven door. Let it bake for 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, turn the oven off and then do not open the oven door. Let everything cool down together. Once the oven is cooled and the painted glassware is cooled, that's when you can open the oven door and remove your glassware. We do suggest waiting 72 hours before you try and wash it, but once it's fully baked to the glassware, it is then top shelf dishwasher safe or you can, like we always say, if it's hand painted, hand wash it. And the glassware and the stemware can be reused over and over and over again. Okay, absolutely. That is some great information, Chris. So as I'm finishing this last swatch, before we, um, here you go, I'll show you guys that shifting in the light too, how beautiful that is. Um, okay, so, before we wrap up, Chris, do we have any more questions that we should answer? I think we've about covered all of them along. I've been following along on the iPad, so thank you for that. Uh, Emma, we definitely thank you for sharing your talents with us all today. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about some of the new folk art colors on the line. Remember, we talked about folk art metallics. We talked about folk art treasure gold. We're now talking up or finishing up talking about the folk art color shift. And don't forget what we began with, folk art enamels. So many new colors. And as Emma shared with you, there's some new sizes of paints available as well. Everything can be found at plaidonline.com forward slash new. If we've missed any questions, we'll go back and try and answer them um, after the program has ended. Don't forget that there's, this is, like Emma said in the beginning, this is not the end all. We still have lots more new Plaid product to share with you. So tune in again tomorrow and again on Friday. We'll have some more new episodes. And uh, don't forget that you can go back and replay the ones that we did on Monday and Tuesday and even this morning. Any other words, Emma? 
I don't think so. I just want to thank you all for tuning in with us today. It's always a pleasure sharing all of this new information with you guys at home. Um, it's exciting that you all are as excited as we are here at Plaid. So like Chris said, don't forget to go to plaidonline.com slash new and don't forget to tune in Thursday and Friday to catch some more uh, new products that we have available in 2022 here at Plaid. And once you purchase all of these new paints, be sure and create lots of fun projects, Sh take pictures, share them with us on social media, and use the hashtag Plaid Crafts because all of us here at Plaid love to see what you create and we want to be inspired by you. Absolutely, so thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye.